your award-winning presenter. Put your hands together for Mr. Jacob Smith. Thank you, Robert, for the introduction. My name is Jacob Smith. I'm here from SE Club Factory in Denmark. Um, sorry, I split up. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about the SE Group. It's uh, one of the largest energy TV and telco companies we have in Denmark. We are founded in Southern Jutland and we service actually more than 400,000 customers. We are quite financially solid and we have more than 1,500 employees in Denmark. But uh, I'm not here to tell you just about the uh, things about the SA Group. I will also tell you a bit about what we've done with the uh, STD in our clouds in hosting in Denmark. First of all, we started out with uh, Microsoft in Redmond uh, a year and a half ago, working on the next generation data center to serve our hosting. Approximately six months ago, we addressed Lenovo and Intel to talk with them about the hardware we're using for the next generation. So, our business case was actually that the current hardware installation we have right now, the hardware life cycle yeah, yeah. is closing at the end of year 2016. We have a high complexity setup with different work systems. We have many moving parts. We have specialized staff who need to configure or maintenance our current sense. And we see from time to time unpredictable performance because of the, the mix of spins we're using. So, just in short terms, we took a standard server from the node, the X series, we took, took the Intel CPUs, lots of memory, the Intel NVMe boards, two of those in each server, for each node. We have an SSD storage and we have some SATA that gives us actually three tiering in each node. And uh, on the back plane, we are using the local 40G RDMA switches. And of course, on top, Windows Server 2016 that we've been working with Microsoft over the last year and the last year. So, we have some uh, measure points to improve the concept. <coughs> so, one is uh, to ensure high performance for compute in the node. One is to ensure high performance for storage. And it's, of course, low latency is very important for us to have low latency in the storage and simplify the installation and gives us a lower capex and opex uh, in our installation. So just to see the, um, some of the numbers uh, we crushed in, in this system, so the output here on 8 node configuration on this standard server, so the configuration I just told you about, on an 8 packet size we get 900,000 IOPS <coughs> with 650k read and 250k write. And just for the fun of it, if you bring all of them up to 100% read, we get amazing 1.1 million IOPS on an 8K package. So we measured against the traditional SAN environment. We uh, looked at the license for build, license for replication, cost of support, and the very high cost of SSDs in our current uh, software. Uh, sorry, uh, our current uh, storage systems. We're looking at zoning, double administration, separate support agreements, and cost support costs for the human environment, and the investments per gigabyte, and the performance of spending versus SSD. So for our next generation data center, we can now offer our customers higher performance level and greater capacity. We can put all applications into our infrastructure as a service, even the ones with high demands. In the terms of capacity, we can actually endless scale this. Well, we started out with eight nodes, but we can scale this all the way. And the solution footprint in our data center, including racks, power, and cooling, has been reduced so many times. I'm here with uh, Fleming, my colleague, and uh, Pierre from Lenovo as well. And we'll be here uh, standing in the next half an hour. So if you have any questions, uh, please come to us and we will answer them the best we can. Jacob Schmidt, everyone! Thank you, Jacob! Nicely done. And a great crowd, too. A great presentation. I'll hit stop after all the applause stops. Nicely done, everyone.